I was thinking that person trains w could train the same as someone who just wants to do their best in the open. Yeah, but I like that regional hopeful will probably need to do more handstand walking, strict muscle ups. Like they'll actually have to do some training things that okay. are prepared and that for regionals. That wouldn't. It might conflict. Affect. It might affect them a little bit, but then otherwise they're going to get to regionals and be completely unprepared or would, would not that, have no training volume for okay. five weeks. But you got to write those specific. You got to wait for the workout to come out. You write Friday, Saturday. Yeah. If Friday is the open workout. Saturday, some little training that won't affect the retest. Sunday off. Monday. Yeah. You do a retest. And okay. So Tuesday yeah, there's definitely training. a difference then. So you could say. I could draw that one on the whiteboard. Yeah, so for and someone who's open performance specific, you're not really training as if there's a next step other than being healthy later on, obviously. Like, you don't want to destroy yourself, but you're doing everything you can no matter what that week to just have your best performance in the open. It's like a, that's a five-week competition. Yeah. But if you're training for region, if you are regional hopeful, it's a five-week competition where your secondary goal is to make sure that you're prepared for the next stage of the competition. So you have to make sure you do something for that yeah and it just can't conflict with your performance but cool. it might you guys are still out here in the same place all right who i just got here no him and her i, I moved over a little bit <laughs> i wrote two designs <laughs> did you really yeah Jeez. mike was preparing his brain for dominating content well, i wrote ben's design and then i wrote frankie's design and frankie's design was like i took a couple of the elements from ben's design and then flipped some movements around and then kept a couple of testers that I gave to Ben, and then I gave him the testers from yeah. this coming weekend. It's, yeah. These two weeks were nice for my high level guys because they're all doing the same tests on Friday all, and Saturday. Yeah, I was going to say, everyone needs at this It'd point, be a like, lot easier of just writing templates for people. It would be. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, but I no. can understand why people have 7,000 clients cause if they're just writing the same Are program. Are you saying that just because there's a camera right now? No, I was actually really happy <laughs> that. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's rare where. I actually just take, like, even a tester that I've written and give it to someone else. But when we get close to the open, I want the data. I want to know how Frankie compares to Ben, compares to Travis, compares to They'll Hamilton. They'll go harder, too. They will. Especially if they know. Yeah, because I, I, always put, I a, put it in my notes. I put a note in there yeah. that says, I will, have, I, I will have Travis and Ben and and so and so. And I'm not going to give any scores, too. They're going to all email me, like, what Noah get? What Travis get? I don't know yet. They didn't do it. <laughs> or inflate their score by like 50%. Um, anything else you want to add? I think that's a good start. That's yeah, no. I think that's a five or six solid ideas. Yeah. So, this one. I like, I think this one. Start with that. Those are easy ones. Well, that yeah, that one, putting it on the whiteboard as a as a calendar, as a Monday through Saturday, yeah. and explaining how each one of these different ones is a good start. And if our first one's going to be about the open, then... Training mistakes or for how should I train during the open? I was thinking how should I train during the open is the okay. first one. Cool. Um, I like whiteboard. Um, how long do you want this to be? Because could, we could go... We could be like, shit, it's been 20 minutes now. Can't we just start and like I think we draw it up put regional hopeful elite fitness enthusiast open performance up there and then do a little bit of discussion about what each day would look like All right. and for each one and see what that looks like so we talk about like hey what's the goals for each one of those how does that mean you lay your layer your week and be like okay I don't know what the conclusion of that is like hopefully this helps you design your week or if you're on a uh, that's hard too because if people are following blog based programs that aren't doing that <laughs> we're basically saying we disagree with how your program <laughs> is keeping you peaked in the open but I'm okay with that I'm just like this is basically what we're saying is this is how we train our athletes <laughs> through the open and yeah, we think it's it that way yeah I mean I've been doing it for since the open came out yep. with I don't know over 40 athletes every year so a, a I, lot of the system seems to make sense a lot of people don't know what to do in between, on the in-between yeah. time. Yeah, um, And they decondition. I, every time I retest after the open, people are at, in worse shape. Right, which is it, like, yeah, okay. So we just start with that one yeah. and then come back to the drawing board? Yeah. Okay. Max, question for you. Yes. What dumbbell elements are you putting into your athlete's designs? Ground over the thrusters. When you say ground over, like two on? Two on, yeah. I don't think they'll pass. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> if they power snatch with 50 pounds, <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, it's going to just be, I mean, gr gross shoulder yeah. endurance, but yeah. you don't need to really prep that specifically. Two arm, through. like hang squat cleans, that type of stuff is, you need the skill, but just doing this with 50 pounds, you don't need to practice that People much. You just and shoulders you don't need. Yeah. yeah, but they get that from light power snatches anyway. I took Ben, I, I made a list of like 14 dumbbell movements and I took them through all of them. And the ones that seem most likely are dumbbell burpees, dumbbell ground to overhead, some combination of a dumbbell burpee and ground to overhead, uh, the squat clean and the thruster. Those seem like the, the most likely. But then I've also seen that HQ has been programming a lot of single arm overhead walking lunges with a dumbbell. That could be common because they already I did that last year. Harder than yeah, I was ben, expecting. Ben, <laughs> looks really comfortable with everything except the burpee dumbbell ground to overhead. Yeah, that is, if, if that's it, that's going to be gross. But I feel that's like if you do the, the burpee, movement, I don't think they'll make I you just, hold I, the dumbbells. A dumbbell technique work, accumulate 20 to 40 reps of the following, yep. and just let people play. I'm not putting them in mat cons. Yeah, because I can't guess. Yeah, well, you've done that really well in the past, which is why I asked the question. Yeah. Logistically, I just don't think it's going to be... I mean, power snatches would make the most sense because then you need less of them. I do think they're probably thinking about the affiliates, so single arm overhead walking lunges makes sense. Make sense. But I, every time you think you know what they're doing, you're wrong. <laughs> do you think they'll bring it up and... Hey, Kyle, how do you feel from that last workout?